Hello, hello! I'm Ashen Ninja, and this once more is Cartep. Now, I feel like I've been neglecting Cartep a little bit recently, I have to admit. But that all ends today. Well, not really. I'll probably still end up neglecting him a bit, but you know. Alright, so, uh, to start us off, let's do some searching. Now, it says 910. But there is Skaven there, so basically all we're doing is getting him experience and actually making the Skaven upset with us for finding them. A lot of people seem to forget who actually that actually happens. Uh, now here, I think he just went to the Ice Spine, didn't he? Last turn. Yeah. So we're going to send him up this way. See if we can find. Another ruin. Ah, good. I like these ones. So we've got our upside down butt plug. Uh, our weird grater. Our shuriken. And. Uh, broken triangle. But it looks like there's only one upside down butt plug. You only really want one. So let's select that one. Oh, yeah. So there we go. We made uh, about 90 gold out of that. Good, good on us. I guess. Now here we're going to upgrade Iron Peaks, uh, just because it makes sense to upgrade Iron Peaks. Now, we go. now I don't really want to trespass on them, they already hate me enough, but I want to get rid of the Wood Elves before I deal with them, so don't get me wrong, we'll deal with them, it's just going to be a little bit of time before we do. So he's got his, what, Shabti Great Bow, and we're getting him a giant as well, which is good. But done. Really does not have a lot of melee in his army now. Uh, we can't do any rights because we don't have sufficient funds, and it's still two turns away for that one. That's good. Uh, oh, we've only just found out about them, and they really don't like us. So that's no good. Um, but not much we can really do about that one. Uh, let's quickly check what kings we have. We've got a tactician and a disciplined one. We really want to get a... Where is he? Uh, trustworthy. Yeah, if we can get another trustworthy of... Or eight, that would be great. So I'm actually more doing this less for the jars at the moment and more to try and get another trustworthy to come through so <clears throat> so keep i'm going to keep doing that anyway until we get another trustworthy now, the fact that we do think we did things against clan pestilence is good for our relations with them but meanwhile over here uh, Dives might unlock some stuff for us. Uh, let's go with the growth building in there, I think. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Only four things we can make here at the moment. I think the armor really does just require that now. That would be really good to have. I'm going to make a shitload of that when I can. We can awaken a couple of these units now, but there's not much point, I don't think. I don't really see them as overly useful. Uh, da, da, da. Scroll of shielding will be unlockable soon. What would spices actually give us? So that would be part of oh, dyes, I mean. So that would get us that. Uh, it would be get us a mask of Carnot, which is okay. Uh, yeah, we're only going to be using the armor of eternity, so that's no good there. Yeah, nothing too exciting, so that's fine. Um, diplomacy, though, I had a look at them. Uh, don't have to worry about them, I don't think, or them. Improving with him, we've got a non-aggression pack with him. 
The expedition will no, I'm not going to be able to make a trade agreement anytime, but having them just kind of off our backs at least is a good thing, but I don't think it's going to matter in the long run. The Skaven are heading north. So, what we really need to fight Skaven is a Scorpion army. So, I need to be able to get those Scorpion buildings sometime soon. Scorpion armies are great for fighting Skaven. Because even if you get ambushed, you're pretty good. And he is getting a bit overly powerful at the moment. Now, we want to try to lure in some um, of these wood elves to come and attack me. So that I can keep just sort of pushing them back until they decide they want to have peace. Cultist of Assyrian, eh? Win recovery time. Oh yeah, untainted, that's good. Win two battles against the heralds of them for more jars and such. Cool. Alrighty, so let's get our Priest King going up here. You head up here too. Just popping them out of their uh, fast movement stance. Now, so over here. Okay, yeah, we've got a scorpion building going in there, that's good. Um, well, the question is so I've got a public order building. I think that public order is still going down by one a turn at the moment. I'd like that to change. That's public order here. That's at plus one. This one's at minus one. I can't afford that at the moment. So we're just going to have to deal. What's it got there? That's a on growth setting, so I can change that if I need to. That's a plus one as well. Yeah. So he's got one of the books of Nagash, okay. That's good. We'll continue having a look around down there. Need to actually scout there as well. So I'm going to upgrade here for Monument of the Sun. I don't think so at the moment. Uh, Tomb Prince, he's got that. Let's give him some more melee defense. This Necrotect, we're going to set him up for Tomb Scorpions. Because we need lots of Tomb Scorpions. And he's also a Scorpion Carver, so that gets us more as well. That campaign movement range would only affect him, so we want to actually put that uh, da, 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 with him. What's this one? Uh, bonus first infantry plus 12 for the Tomb Scorpion units. We'll put that in once we actually have a army building Tomb Scorpions. Uh, let's have a look at our kings. We have a prepared. Ooh, actually, you know what? I like the prepared because they're very. That would a prepared one would be very good for taking over one of these armies and sending a treacherous off to create a tomb scorpion army. So if I kick him out for a prepared because so I think we've got other treacherous ones as well that are in here no maybe not I want to kick him out for a prepared one um, I do actually. 
So he's, he's only level 10. I'm recruiting at level 6, so it's not too big a deal. So yeah, so let's throw the prepared one in here. So, Alright, the treacherous one will come back. So that's not too bad. Uh, da, da, da. No, wait, what am I doing? Don't do that. We want to go with this and the arrows. And we will give him that one as well. Just because prepared just means that... Better at shooting. Uh, let's see... What do we want to give him though? Really none of these things, but... Give him that. That's good. Good, good, good. How many you shoved here with great bows can we actually get at the moment? Ju literally just the one. So that's a bit of a bummer. Bit of a bummer. Uh, we can still actually recruit this disciplined one. Make him a Jar King. Oh, all the jars. Oh, geez. So we might. So this way we kind of keep this up while we wait for that prepared one to become ready again. Um, and then we can start pumping him with um, <clears throat> with scorpions. Which I think will be a very, very good idea. Well, he's at minus four, so let's uh, get him that build. There we go. Good, good, good. Good. Yes. Now, with the various heroes I've got, some of them will have Charnel Valley Necrotex, some will not. So that we don't lose any of our few that we really have, we're going to actually pop them out of the armies. This way they're all ready to go into new hero slots and everything uh, when they're in places that will really benefit from them he doesn't have one he doesn't have one and we actually need more anyway I think personally Iron will be available there at some stage. One more turn. What are we getting here at the moment? Okay, cool. So we're going to have... Oh, that'll be extra army, army capacity as well. Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful. That will make life a fair bit easier for us. We should check out Parhuax and see what's going on there. Uh, there's some elves down there. That's no good. It's like I want to become a superpower. I'm just sort of uh, just not there yet. More armies will be good though. That'll help us consolidate things and hold things and that sort of stuff. Excellent, so we got that. Tarhoth incantation is now ready, but we don't have the money, which is fine. Let's head up this way. We'll get our prepared Lord hanging out there. He's going to come up and just hold in an ambush. There. Uh, we actually need a fair bit more um, happiness there as well. Because chaos is a bit overly abundant in that place. Uh, again, this should actually be Skavens. Oh no, we've actually we've checked out that ruin a bit too recently. Uh, let's 
not try and antagonize the Skavens too much more. Uh, meanwhile, the land of jars. Oh, oh, beautiful, trustworthy. Beautiful, and he's uh, beautiful. We don't need to keep him up. We just need to have recruited him at some stage. So that's that's good for us. Very, very good. All right. What should we get now? Uh, Dynasty six dynasty. We see skeleton arch chariots and for skeleton chariots and skeleton chariots. Char 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 cannot speak. Uh, we should actually, because I don't really think I need any of these guys. Though he might be nice. Plus one more provinces. Excuse me. Uh, no, let's uh, unlock another... We'll work towards unlocking another dynasty, I think. More dynasties, more armies, that kind of thing. Uh, his yellow line looks extremely complete to me. So we're going to start him creating jars for us as well. Two more turns and we'll have a giant. Uh, what, what in your army needs upgrading? I don't, I don't see it. Uh, let's see. You've got a lot of your things, but Woundmaker is what we're uh, concentrating on at the moment. I'm assigned skill points for him. Uh, over a thousand? The fuck? Okay, so that should be on the bottom there. That should be the weird comb dearly. Not the kissing dinosaurs, not the... Not a black plug, but some other kind of sex toy, and uh, a different kind of sex toy. We actually lose 15 gold for that. That's a bit fucked. But that's actually a very good banner. Now, Mr. You. What do we got? Construction cost minus 25. That, we got that. Um. You, uh, yeah, so I might actually give that one to him. Channel Valleys we've got plenty of at the moment, so that's good. Good, good, good. Uh, we've got our ambush set up to try and take out some of them. Uh, oh, we just need money to upgrade that now. So yeah, we really need to get into some more battles. Now that one, income from trade plus 20%. I don't think I'm trading with anyone. Campaign line of sight over regions with golden idols, marble, and gemstones. Yeah, I don't know if that one's too useful. This book has been collected by another faction. Okay, well, we'll have to kill them then. See what we get. Not too far off getting that scorpion building going. Looking forward to that. As we'll recruit that lord at Titan Peak, and then we'll have him south here where the Skaven are. Defenders of the Great Plan have been destroyed. They're bringing an army in from that direction. All right, so we'll change where we are ambushing from. He's raiding as well, so. Ready at the jars. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so he is actually ambling about over there, so. 
And we'll bring our scout truck here over this way. He's still got a turn for that, so let's... Let's see, actually, what we would do is we bring him down this way. He's got a fucking huge movement range. So we're going to bring him down to there. And pop him in ambush there. going to bring him down and have him stand behind that. That's good. Uh, 12.32 for that is not too bad. You need, you do actually need that upgraded at some stage, but not right now. I'm going to upgrade this one because I need to get a happiness building in here as well. Uh, yep, yeah, you're just going to have to keep keeping an eye on this southern border for me. Good of you to get a level. Let's see if we can get more not to wrathful one this time. Those trustworthy ones are few and far between it would seem. Um that because he's not the one he is not the a Jedi I am looking for alrighty he's kind of pumped through the turns with uh, Tomb Kings without a lot of fights unfortunately I'm going to upset the cult of pleasure some more because I'm going to be doing some more, um, what do you call it, uh, trespassing on their lands. So that'll be a thing. Oh, oh, got an ambush here. Oh, shit balls. <laughs> Not a good ambush though. Uh, why didn't one of those armies retreat very far? That is a bit shit. Because I don't really want to lose all of that. Well, fuck. Okay, because he barely retreated, and that sucks. So I'm going to lose this entire fucking army now. Crap! I'm going to have to fight it. See what we can do. Problem is their forces are just going to be way too fast for us. So what we need to do is... So, alright. I actually think we have no chance on this one. Alright, that's fine. Right, you go like that. And then. Okay. We'll just do it manually then. Fucking useless thing. So I want that set up like that. We are going to put our spearmen across here. We're trying to make it so that they can't really flank us easily. We get ourselves nice and boxed in. Arches there. That looks good. Might actually move the artillery slightly back. Uh, we're going to need you up here. Is that actually a healer thing? No, it's not. That sucks. You on your horse. You are. That's good. Necrotect, we're going to pop you in the tomb print. We're going to have to have you doing some harassing. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. 
We've got a fair bit of magic, which is good. Archers are only shooting up to there. So they've actually got some zotes. Uh, look at that shit too, it seems. No, uh, that's not going to reach. Is that tree man? Yeah, he is. That's cool. You're not going to cast it? Or are you just going to... Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, we are not doing a lot of damage to them with artillery, so that's bad. He's getting fucked up, so let's pull him back. See if we can get him stuck in a bit over there. Fire at the more distant ones there. Pull him back out again, please. Okay, we're not going to be able to pull him out of there again, please. <laughs> oh, we're firing way too close to our troops there. Let's not do that. Get the way, watchers, thanks. Oop, still way too close. Fire at them, please. You drop that into there for him. them around. Oh fuck, he's getting fucked up there, isn't he? He's just way crowded in there. Well, hey, way watchers, yeah, get them firing up there, please. going to have to do is drop these guys in. Oh, oh Jesus, they're gone. Can't cast that at the moment. It's my Necrotect. Go attack him, please. You too. You guys hold that line a bit. See if we can do some damage to these zotes. Yeah, we are fucked in so many ways. Nothing we can really do there. So we can get everything firing in the one spot. Got our king working on some stuff there though, that's good. Uh, yeah, never stood a chance, but that happens. If we can get some more kills with him. point in really continuing that. Whew. Well, a valiant defeat. Hmm.
Oh shit, I didn't even notice I had Ariel in the army. Hmm. That's bad. That should be as far as he can go though, really. And that's like the worst place possible for him to stand, so... That's not too bad. We, well, I mean, it, it, it's pretty fucking awful. We lost an entire army. Uh, I'm really glad I pulled all of those. Uh... Well, he's wounded. He's only wounded. He's killed. And he's killed. Okay, so we still have our treacherous lord. Uh... It's fine. Now, we need to work on getting a better one of them. And... A better one of them. I know he's trustworthy, but... It's not worth it in the end. Okay. Now, they got their asses pretty much handed to them. Well, I wouldn't say handed to them, but... Got their asses sort of kicked a bit. Uh, this will be a nice easy one for us. I don't know why we're losing even that, but that's alright. I can accept that. And we'll take the money because we really need it. Alright, that's good. Uh, you can have iron. Now, what can we actually get here? Fuck all, really? Well, there's a nice regiment of renown I could put into his army, but... Keeping them for a really bad time would be more handy, I think. Right, we can have up to four Tomb Scorpions, so that's pretty fucking good. Uh, let's grab Tomb Guard with Halberds out of there, I think. Just to bolster his army. Uh, pop him... Oh, actually, I'll leave him there. I'll just pop him into Ambush Stance anyway. Uh, seek Absolution. Well, you're not going to get Absolution from me, mate, because I don't want to give it to you. Uh, we can actually get, have it so we can have more Tomb Guard, or I can get him doing that. I think I'll just get him more Tomb Guard, to be honest. It ups the capacity for Tomb Guard, which means we can recruit more Tomb Guard. So I like that. Uh, let's have a look. We can now get the Scorpions. is excellent. We don't have the treacherous one for another two turns, but we can actually just grab anyone and start that. So let's do that. So we're going to grab this eternal one. He is just going to be a jar king. But we will boot him out for the treacherous one when the treacherous one is ready. Uh, oh, gone over time a little bit, that's alright. Uh, so we'll start him building scorpions for the army. Uh, now down this way... Now wasn't there... Yes, there it is. That's what we want. Upgrade that one. Because that means we can build a scorpion building there as well. And that will be good. Uh, you are going to give the elixir of immortality to. Yes. Uh, this necrotect now. Uh, I think we're going to give him the war sphinx sculptor. I, I prefer war sphinxes over necro sphinxes personally. You 
are going to get oh you've got everything you can there you've got your full replenished troops you can start making me jars too This tomb prince is doing okay. A chariot master, isn't he? Yep. Good, good. Okay, yeah. Cunning cavalry master. Can't get one of you. That's fine. We already did one of you. Uh, yeah, that's right. You'll still have one point. So we'll just give you iron disciplinarian while you're hanging out there. We start our first scorpion army. Why did I press end turn? Because I'm an idiot. So what I'll do while it goes through this bit, I'll just do my usual ending bit and we'll start the next episode from where this bit ends. Uh, so I've been Ash Ninja. This has been a uh, car tip. We're down an army. We're lower in strength. Uh, let's hope that the uh, Dark Elves can pull our asses out of the fire. Looks like we're about to have some pestilence problems here. It ain't cool. Uh, and I will see you in the next episode. So do the usual like and subscribe and I'll see you later.